Hello folks, today we're going to take Z-Man's laboratory out into the forest and we're going to do a, a product review on Wise Company's dehydrated foods. They uh, are sold as emergency stores and uh, we'll talk more about the product when we get out to the camp. So off into this nice wilderness here <laughs> and uh, we'll do some cooking. We'll see you there. So first things first. We've got our nice fire ring set up here in our good old camp and uh, we need to do a little bit of arrangements for cooking so I'm going to get busy here for a little bit and uh, once we got the fire going I'll come on back and we'll see about the product. So we've got our fire cooking down here a little bit. Let's talk about our product. We've got uh, Wise Company's uh, Savory Stroganoff. This is uh, pasta with mushrooms, onions, sour cream, and beef flavor. It's uh, touted as 100% vegetarian. The way they can get beef stroganoff with 100% uh, with, with vegetarian is that they're using uh, texturized vegetable protein. This is supposed to make four servings for an adult. Um, 25 years is the shelf life, I believe. I'm not seeing it on the package. I looked into this before we came out. But I've forgotten what the actual shelf life is. But I think it was 25 years. If it's, the bag stays sealed, it's probably going to be good for a lot longer than that. Our cooking directions are to bring four cups of water to a boil, add, this, add the contents of this package into the boiling water and stir. Turn off the heat. <laughs> Going to be a little fun cooking over a fire. Turn off the heat, cover and let stand for 12 to 15 minutes, stirring occasionally. Uncover and let cool two to three minutes. So. Uh, a lot of really nice vegetable stuff in here. Good uh, vitamin content. And uh, so we're going to take a pause again here and let the fire burn down a little bit so it's uh, ready for cooking over. You don't want to cook over flames. You always want to cook over coals. Um, I might do some flames just to speed things up a little bit. So uh, I'm going to head down to the spring, get some water, and uh, get ready for cooking. Nice and merrily today. Looks like we had better flow than usual. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005. So we have five seconds to get 16 ounces. You can calculate that flow. And you might be saying, hey, Z-Man, it's not safe to drink water out of the wild, but remember, we're cooking. We're going to bring this up to boiling temperature. That's going to get rid of almost all our pathogens in the water. It's rather nice and clear coming out of the spring, so I'm not worried about filtration. So uh, let's let our fire do the work for us. So we're moving along here. Got the water just about boiling. It's, uh, already got bubbles and steam, so. Uh, we're going to let it go for a little bit longer, and I think a, a rolling boil is more appropriate for cooking it, this stuff with. Um, what you may not realize is that Z-Man has quite some culinary background. I've been a professional cook, and I've also been a, an amateur enologist. That is to say, that's the fancy word for winemaker. Um, so. Wise Company has a little bit of stringent uh, expertise to go up against here. I'm going to be uh, checking this out for taste, of course. We want to make sure our foods are yummy. And uh, we'll check it out for texture. And we're looking for ease of preparation. We're looking for presentation, too, of course. Just because we're out here in the wild doesn't mean that we can't have good looking food. So uh, 
I'll be back in a few more minutes. I'm going to let this water continue to get to a, a rolling boil. I think I'm going to lower the pot down closer to the closer to the coals, speed things up. All right, so we've got a nice rolling boil going here. And the heat ores. Get our product opened up. Look inside and uh, lots of pasta and some powder. All right. Adding uh, ingredients into the pot. We have added contents to the package and now we're going to stir. Manamana. Manamana. It's thickening up kind of nicely there. Looks pretty wet. But, uh, dehydrated foods are supposed to suck up the water, so we'll see how that goes. part of the uh, direction says to turn off the heat. Well, this is how we turn off the heat over a campfire. There. That's the turned off the heat. Cover and let stand for 12 to 15 minutes. So, uh, Alrighty. Marking the time at 108. This is as good a cover as I'm going to get. And we'll see you in 15 minutes. Alright, it's been about 15 minutes. And uh, here we go, we're going to check out our savory beef stroganoff. Got kind of goopy at the bottom. I did not stir it occasionally. like yeah I happen to like stroganoff in more of a rich beef beefy uh, brown sauce this looks more like a creamy white sauce and of course yeah cr stroganoff is a creamy sauce but I prefer it to be more brown so, uh, here we go. The <coughs> beef chunks are not very chunky. Mostly got a pasta sauce, pasta meal here. I'd say that's a pretty good texture. It's nicely thickened sauce. It's not uh, not soupy like I thought it would be. It'll probably thicken up even more as it cools down. That's the nature of thickened sauces. But that doesn't just drop off the spoon.
kind of tasty. Mushrooms are a bit small, but yeah, what do you expect? Can't detect any onion in this, but uh, there's, as far as uh, identifying it by visually, and a fair amount of onion flavor. Mm, hot. Mushrooms could deal with a little bit more rehydrating. Perhaps cooking over a fire, we might want to let this sit for a little bit longer. Alright, Wise Company, I think you did a good job on this one. Need more rehydration time. The mushrooms are definitely too chewy. Texturized vegetable protein does not fool me into thinking it's beef. But the uh, the beef flavor, I think they uh, I think they kind of got that. It's a subtle beef flavor. I wouldn't say it's very strong. Remember, I'm like stroking off in a nice, rich, beefy gravy. Noodles reconstitute pretty nicely. As far as calories go, one serving out of this, which is supposed to be one cup, is 250 calories. If you're uh, dividing your 2,000 calories out three times a day, this isn't going to cut it. You're going to have to pick it up a little bit and have another serving. But, hey, who doesn't like seconds when it's this good? I'm going to give it a thumbs up. I like it. Thank you, Wise Company.